Hello, it's Oleg from One Tourist Video Blog about van conversion and travels. It's winter outside, very cold and snowy, so I couldn't do much work in my camper van. But it's a very great time to do some testings about heating and thermal insulation in my self made camper van. So I will go to my camper van, start my diesel heater, and measure how good works some types of insulation or places with no insulation, windows and all that, and we will see to the results. For this test I want to compare how differently works metal parts without insulation and metal parts of the van with thermal insulation, and compare single glass window with double glass window, and how effective is curtains separating cabin from living area? And see what the difference could make this very quickly made uh, thermal screen for the window that made from two layers of cheap uh, insulation material from the shop. To measure all the results, I have a couple of tools. First one is infrared thermometer. Next one is temperature screen with three wireless sensors. And the last most interesting one is thermal camera for mobile phone that I borrow from a friend. I hope I will not break it because this thing cost $800. Oops. And a few words about my diesel heater. It's model planner 44D12, so it's 12 volt connection and it takes diesel from my main uh, sprinter van tank and it has maximum power of 4 kilowatts. And a few words about my camper van insulation. All the walls, ceiling and floor insulated with anti-vibration and thermal insulation. The first layer of the insulation is this mastic anti-vibration plates with aluminum foil on the top. The second layer is 8 mm foam insulation that works as temperature and sound barrier. And the third layer is rock wool house grade stone wool insulation. There are all three types of insulation in the walls and only two types anti vibration mastic and foam insulation on the floor and on the ceiling. So let's go to the van, place our sensors and start testing. The third sensor I will put outside near the van. The second sensor I will put in the cabin area. And third sensor I will put at the end of my van where is my sleeping area. So all sensors are placed and uh, the inside sensor of this unit shows low because it's not made for minus temperature. Outside sensors show minus 6.8, uh, cabin sensor shows minus 4.4 and bed area sensor shows minus 4. Uh, I think I just uh, breathe my air a little on the sensors so they are a little uh, warm. But anyway, it's 16. Uh, zero 05 time and we will start our experiment. So I turn on my heating unit and set power to the maximum. So now it's about 15 minutes gone and I turn on my thermal camera and it shows that my heater heating pretty well with about 100 120 degrees celsius and it already heats my kitchen area to the 10 uh, 11 degrees and my floor too and part of the door and the rest of the van is still very cold uh, that shows that it's very nice to have uh, heating tubes uh, that will deliver hot air to all the parts of your van. I don't have that, so more you know. So it's about half an hour gone and now this unit uh, shows the temperature. It's 4.5. 
uh, degrees right there and in the bed area it's plus 7 degrees and in the cabin area it's minus 1.3 uh, which shows that this curtains works pretty well, separating cabin area that we don't need to heat right now and living area. So it's pretty huge difference, about 10 degrees difference between living area and the cabin. And on the street it's minus 7.6, uh, still very cold. And right now it's pretty manageable out there without any head and just with this uh, light coat. So yeah, temperature now is uh, pretty fine to be here. So now I will go around with this infrared thermometer and we'll try to measure the temperature and see how well is when heated right now. I will start right from the heating unit and here it shows 160 degrees Celsius and uh, 340 Fahrenheit, so it's pretty good, pretty good heating. And the kitchen unit in front of the heater shows 26 degrees Celsius or like 80 Fahrenheit. And on the top of the kitchen it's about zero or 33 Fahrenheit and. Uh, in the back area here it's about the same like plus one and zero which is 34 Fahrenheit and the sensor is 4.5 degrees which is 40 Fahrenheit and let's measure the windows so the double glass window shows uh, about zero degrees, uh, which is 32 Fahrenheit, and uh, the single glass window shows minus 2.3, so the double glass must minus 2.7, which is uh, 27 Fahrenheit, so the double glass window works better than single glass window, and this Quick made cover for window shows, let's see, about plus two and a half, like plus, yeah, plus two and a half, which is uh, 30, 36 Fahrenheit, so it's even better than this double glass window. So, yeah, windows covers for winter is pretty fine. Okay, let's wait more. And now, after about an hour, let's see to the results. In this unit, temperature shows 12.3 degrees, and in the bed area 14.7, and in the cabin 4.8, which is really nice. It really shows that curtains works really great and make a big difference between living area that we heat and the cabin. And the outside temperature is minus 7.8 it's even colder than uh, the time we start so now let's let's walk around with thermal camera around my van and let's see uh, how big difference one hour of heating makes from the van that was about minus 10 degrees in the morning Let's start from the heater. We can see it's very hot right now and it heats up the kitchen wall to the 30 degrees. The other parts of the van is not that hot right now and the couch at the right is about 10-15 degrees and the kitchen side is about 5-10 degrees and while we approaching the back side of the van temperature drops and here it's only on the cushions and on the curtains we can see about 10-15 degrees but metal is still very cold about 5-10. Let's look at the windows. We can see the double glass windows in the back doors heats up to 7-8 degrees but the single glass window is only 2 degrees. It's very cold. 
it's obvious that double glass windows works much better. But let's look at my quick made thermal screen for the window. It shows about 13 degrees, which is really great. And the glass behind this screen is 0 degrees. So it works even better than double glass windows. And most surface of the van is pretty warm right now, but not the floor. Uh, it needs a little more time to heat up the floor and other hard parts of the van. One hour and a half passed from start of the heating of my van and it's still heating. Now uh, the structure of the van accumulating all this power, uh, all this heating and all the wooden pieces and the furniture, the floor, ceiling accumulates all this heat after the long winter cold nights with minus 10 and minus 15 degrees. So it will keep all this warm in its structure. But for now I will stop this experiment. Uh, I know uh, all I wanted to know right now and in the bed area it's 14.6 right now and here is 15 degrees and in the cabin is 6.6 .6 and minus 8 outside. So only one thing I wanted to know is places with the most heat loss in my van by walking around it with thermal camera. And right from the start, on the right side of the van, we can see that glass and metal of sliding door with no insulation lost a lot of heat. The windows right next to it with curtains looks a little better, but they still lost a lot of heating. Next look at the left side of the van. Here we can see that walls uh, looks much better, but there is still a lot of loss of heat on the windows. But here we can see that the right window with our self-made screen looks a lot better and it has about 2 degrees difference between the window with no thermal screen and window with it. And let's look at the back doors with double glass windows. Here we can see that doors itself lost a lot of heat because they are not insulated and especially on the top where heat is going they lost it a lot. But the double glass windows looks pretty nice but still not as good as the single glass window with thermal screen. And that's all here, let's go inside and think about the results. And I am back home to the results, let's see what we have. At first about my air heater. Just after 10 minutes it was already very hot and blows hot air all around the van and heats up my kitchen wall to the 13 degrees, but it could be nice to have some air vents for better distribution of the hot air all around my van, so if you could do that in your van conversion, I highly recommend. After 25 minutes, uh, the temperature raised more than freezing point uh, near the kitchen and it was plus 4 in the bed area and kitchen wall was already plus 26. And after one hour it was pretty comfortable inside with temperature about 12 to 50 degrees all around the van. And I must say about very high efficiency of the curtain that divides cabin and living area because it makes about 10 degrees difference uh, between these two spaces. And now let's talk about temperature testing results about all the parts of the van that I measure outside. Temperature on the street drops to the minus 12 point at this time, so we'll Take this number as a reference number and the best option is to have minus 12 all around the van outside, so it's no heat loss, but uh, it was different numbers and I make a top list of the best and worst parts of the van and we will go from the worst. And the worst part, if we're talking about thermal insulation, 
is the single glass window and its temperature was minus 6 degrees so the heat loss on this part was very big and yeah it's your worst enemy if you want to keep cold outside and heat inside just a single glass window without anything the next worst thing was a sliding door metal because i didn't do any insulation in the sliding door yet uh, it was just a plain metal and it was minus 8 degrees which is pretty terrible very big heat loss too so just a plain metal is pretty bad insulation the same minus 8 degrees shows a window with a curtain so curtain boosts up the insulation to 2 degrees more so this is nice and the next goes double glass windows that shows minus 9 degrees which is pretty nice for just a window without any covering and if you cover this window with some curtain it will show the minus 10 degrees which is very nice insulation but do you want to know what it's even better of course you do it's a single glass window with my self-made uh, thermal screen from two layers of some reflectix foil type insulation from home improvement store and this combination with single glass window and thermal insulation and curtains uh, shows the minus 11 degrees uh, which is just one degree warmer than outside temperature so it's a very very good result and the best insulation place goes to metal parts of the van with good insulation inside and finishing with the wood and this part was about 11 and a half degrees almost the same temperature is the outside street itself so the quick results single glass window and metal parts without insulation is your worst enemies it's terrible for insulation and you must not do that curtain could improve the insulation of any window for about two degrees difference and two glass windows is much better than one glass window but what's it's even better is any of these windows with self-made thermal reflective insulation screen and that works just great and with the curtain it's almost as good as just normal uh, metal parts of the van with good insulation of many layers and finishing and that's all for this video i test all i could imagine in my van and measure all the results and gives it to you and freeze for three hours on the street doing that uh, but it was interesting to know for me too so uh, whatever and thank you for watching i hope it was interesting for you too and i will see you in next videos bye